it is time bear witness to one of the only heroic spirits who just might be a bigger saber stand than i am richard the lion heart your triumphs will not go untold let's get off into it in face strange fake you have one of many of richard's remarkable feats when it comes to his speed having the reaction time to obliterate a portion of the ceiling that was about to crush a pair of officers in mere seconds when he was fighting against enkidu my boy said i don't need a weapon for you this man was able to close in on enkidu's projection weapons with just his hands alone he came in with the two-piece keep in mind that Enkidu's weapons can come out at bullet speed comparable to Gil and he's dodging through them with nothing the novel then tells us that the sheer force behind his punches were so strong that it was enough to cut straight through Enkidu's hair I'm the real Iron Mike in his fight against Gil he was parrying and dodging dozens of his noble phantasms with just his blade when he was up against the three-headed hellhound cerberus he managed to steal the phantasm of the officer next to him slice off one of his claws and save his master ayaka with little to no time to do it by the time he was finished the officer next to him was just then realizing that he used his weapon to pull it off he's literally just that fast in that same fight he was able to avoid avoid being eaten alive with pure skill alone dodging two of his heads and kicking off of his teeth in mid-air to maintain his momentum he's also shown the ability to communicate with this same beast making him docile with just his conversation merlin might just have some competition he has a strong mental endurance when francis prelati tried to break richard's morale not only did he fail to do so but it only made Richard's resolve stronger. You have his all kinds of talent skill, which allows him to get better at anything he does in record time. This means that he could pick it up today and be an expert by tomorrow. Art skills, nothing to it. Horseback riding, no competition. He even watched a movie with a boxer in it. And by the end of the movie, he was already transcending that character's techniques. You can't be from this planet. When he studied swordsmanship, he mentioned that nobody in the castle could beat him afterwards. Dude walked into a club, picked up a guitar for the first time, and got a standing ovation. I can't make this up. The only thing he couldn't do because of his past was learn English. Then you have the statement from Heracles who says that he's at least on the same level as the demigod Hippolyta. Richard's not even divine by the way. Heracles also gave praise to Richard for his high speed. He mentioned himself that he has Richard in a lot of categories but speed might not be one of them. This is one of the fastest servants saying this. This dude is a problem. You have the statement from his master I who believes that Richard could outpace No Name Assassin. For anybody that missed the Hassan video, No Name Assassin is said to move at a speed that literally defies gravity. Just to give you an example, you have the statement from one of the shadows of the Watcher who believes that just from seeing Richard's skill in action, he could dodge bullets from an AR. In his fight against Gil, he was weaving through a mass number of his phantasms like he was breakdancing this is where his feats start to get outright absurd let me point out the fact that richard wasn't even using a real sword for the first half of this fight he pulled up to the battle with an ornamental sword that you put on the wall for decoration against gil who has some of the best phantasms in his vault the reason being is because of his phantasmal effect excalibur which allows him to turn anything he touches into Excalibur. No, I am not exaggerating. Richard was out here casually making Excalibur blasts just so he could move around. It got to the point where Gil had to up the volume and the speed of his phantasms and he still couldn't slow him down. As a matter of fact, Richard actually stole one of his phantasms in the midst of one of his attacks. Oh, you think you nice. See, now you gotta die. He circled around Richard with phantasms from 
every single direction. But Richard said, nah, I'm just a little too gangster to go out like everybody else. He kicked one of the phantasms and spun his entire body in a way that should normally be impossible. Then told him, I may not be as strong as you, but when it comes to speed, I'm more than enough for you to handle. Even Gil's master was utterly shocked that Richard was several times faster than he was when the fight first started. This is thanks to his god speed skill, which literally allows him to increase in speed as the fight goes on. He's only going to get faster. Then on top of having this skill, he can boost his speed even more with Magecraft and he gets a divine boost from the throne. He's tactfully bouncing off of the rubble in the midst of their battle and managed to land a series of strikes on Gilgamesh. He speed dashed across multiple buildings in order to close the gap between them. We know that he's quick on his feet. When he was captured by the police, he went into spirit form to phase through their handcuffs. He used his spirit form to phase through a wall and reach his master who was locked in a cell. He has high awareness, being able to sense the dead apostle jester the moment that he walked into the building. He can read through deception, being able to point out Officer Vera's flaws when she was telling him a lie. He's the only one allowed to invoke his Excalibur power, even Alexander Dumas, who can literally create pseudo phantasms, couldn't do anything with it. In the scene following his summoning, the moment that he came out, he wiped out half of an opera house after sensing an enemy was around him. The novel telling us that this isn't even close to his full power. Back when he was fighting against Enkidu, he literally picked up a branch from a tree and turned it into Excalibur. A fucking tree branch. He must be stopped in his fight against Gil. Although his Excalibur blasts aren't as strong as the real one, he can fire these off back to back with no launch time. He fired at least 20 blasts back to back when they were in their battle. It had gotten so bad that it looked as if it was one continuous attack. Gilgamesh himself had to take a step back and give him his praise for being able to stop him. In the battle against Cerberus, he sliced off his claw and turned that into Excalibur, hitting him in the flank. He managed to incinerate a skeleton that was the size of a skyscraper created by the horsemen of pestilence in his fight against no name assassin he surprised her with a poisonous arrow shot out of his shadow at point blank did i mention that he has his own round table richard has his own henchmen familiars in multiple classes that can come out whenever he feels like it the familiar that shot no name was his assassin his saber henchman can supply him with swords when he's unarmed. His assassin can conceal his presence and be his lookout. His rider can summon a horse for his leisure at will. His caster can boost his magecraft, heal his wounds, or provide him with footholds while he's in the air. He actually used this in his fight against Gil to perform double jumps and contort his body in unrealistic ways. His caster has also been shown providing him with water drops being able to morph these into a light source as Excalibur and create a diversion and his assassin was shown with the ability to help Richard navigate when he was in the forest with Enkidu and since these members are half fused with his spirit origin they have been shown to move at the same speed as Richard being able to keep up with Richard and give him assistance when he was fighting against the monsters of the horsemen of pestilence when he was fighting against these monsters, he was moving even faster than he was in his fight against Gil. Holy! When it comes to his downsides, there won't be much. I do want to point out that his Excalibur Phantasm is limited to whatever he used as the base object. Weapons such as the tree branch can only be used one time since it's made out of wood. His prop sword also disintegrated later on down the line. But when he got a hold of Gil's Phantasm, it stayed in the world and his attacks were even stronger. Then there's his round table. Naturally, being 
being this cheap, they take a lot of mana consumption to bring out. So instead of using full manifestations every time, he just uses their effects sparingly or via his shadow. Crazy thing is, we're still learning new things about them. Is there any room for a debate? He's being praised by multiple gods. He's been compared to a demigod, wildly versatile, and taking on some of the best spirits in fate period but most important of all he's a saber stand i gotta hit this man with the a rank hallelujah how am i supposed to even follow up from this we'll see who comes next